Video and voice. Video and voice. Let's all just act as a monstrous parrot and repeat everything Colin says so Luke can hear it. <laughs> Look at pizza, you guys. My family, all, I took a picture when he was standing right here. My family all got a little chuckle out of that. <laughs> no, I'm sorry you cut out, Christine. No! <laughs> I mean, I could hear you now. I just didn't hear what you said after your family. They just all chuckled. <laughs> I can't hear anybody with Tim and Jake. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Revenge I can hear everybody right now, so it is possible. I can hear everyone right now also. I think Luke's the only one with issues hearing one person, and that's Colin. I can all. I can't hear. I actually uh, can't hear Luke Colin anymore either. I don't super care to. Damn oh. it! Whoa! You know, and I'm afraid to re wow. reload. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm saying it. He's saying I'm saying it. We're getting heads and stuff. All right. Here's the, the Star Wars the movie trivia for a point of inspiration. Oh, I got this. Or maybe I don't. Who knows? We'll see. As long as it's not the new one. No. Nope, this is OT. What is the last name Yoda. of Luke Skywalker's... Skywalker. <laughs> Co-pilot in his snowspeeder. I don't know. Walter. Wait, wait, wait. Johnson. <laughs> Good guess. Did he hear me? Did he hear me say Walter? He didn't, he didn't hear. I heard you, but but Luke Luke also wanted, is gonna guess, and I don't think he heard you. The sound. <laughs> I keep thinking sonically. Like rugby. I know it's not rugby. You're so close. Oh my god! I feel like god. his name has like an igby ugby ugby sound. You're uh, oh, close in the other way. My god! Start from <laughs> Randall. It's not, it's not Wedge Antilles. No. Uh, First Walter. name Dak. Rugba. Dak. 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 Dak Bo. Dak Boy. <laughs> That's Bapor's Dakma. <laughs> Is it? Dak Bapor's. No. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Colin I got it. Up. For a point of inspiration, Colin, you win a point of inspiration for Dak Colin Walter. Oh, no. I didn't know. I already have one. Wait, what was his name? Do I get another one? Yes, you get two. Dak Walter. How do I do that? Walter. Just keep track of it on your character sheet somewhere. Okay. Wait, can we hear everybody now? I'm gonna quit. No, I can't. I can only hear you. Oh, cute. You can't hear me anymore, Colin. I can hear. I can hear you. Hear me still? I can hear everybody. Colin can't hear you, Christine. I can't. God damn it! I can't hear Colin. Okay, the next Star Wars trivia. Um, that's gonna go out, and Colin is unable to answer because he already answered. But you get a point of inspiration for naming one of the Chewbacca. alien species on Jabba's skiffs or sail barge that is not Jabba or a human. Twi'lek. Nice. Damn. What is you guys can also... Uh, I can you guys, Jake and uh, Christine, you can also answer. God, what about um? Can I answer again? The rancor. <laughs> the rancor is not on the sail barge. He is dead by that time. Oh, I didn't hear that part of the question. <laughs> oh, on the sail barge or the skiff. What are the pig guys called? Gamorian. Ah, uh, Gamorian. I'm sorry, but Luke gave you that answer. Hey. Do I get two? No. <laughs> <laughs> All you are doing is can stealing. I see if I can name all of them? Okay. What's that? I bet I can name all of them. Was There's... there a, a Jawa on there? There may have been, but there is one on mine, but there isn't. I know. <laughs> That's what I was if, thinking of. <laughs> I say droid, does that count? No. There was at least two. Damn it. 
I think you should be really proud of me that I guessed a Jawa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of me. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, it's very, very good. Apparently, Colin, that's also a kind of motorcycle. Has Colin been talking, by the way? Because I still can't hear him. Colin. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I, I can I only hear Colin Colin. through Teddy's microphone occasionally. <laughs> You might need to bring him in there so that we can continue. Well, let's see. Chewbacca was on the skiff, so I'll say Wookie. Fuck you. <laughs> you don't get a point of inspiration for that. What? Not I was sure your ears pierced so I could get you these cute Jawa on, ears. <laughs> I mean, non-character species. Oh, yeah. But Twi'lek would still count because he had twi- his Twi'lek dancers, I would assume. Well, Bo- Boba was on ben, the ship, so is I'll Bib say on the sh- uh, lame Well, Bib Fortuna has a name. But I guess Bib Fortuna has a name in the, in the series, so it's still count. Yeah, I would give I would give Twilight. I would definitely give Twilight. Can I say Salacious Crumb? Does say you count? I don't know what he is. A Victorian I don't know what... What is he? He's a monkey. <laughs> You're close, <laughs> actually. You're not far off from his species. <laughs> Well, I I thought he didn't have like a official species yet. Oh, oh! Everybody has an official species. Not Yoda. He's the Yoda species. <laughs> a crumbite. He's a monkey lizard. <laughs> Motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> I could have got that if I guessed long enough. Um. I guess, Colin, do you want to come in here and just continue playing from here? Well, I suppose. What are you gonna do? Extremely inconvenient, but I guess we we could hang out and like not wear pants. Well, Fuck I'm gonna be real fast. Real fast. Real fast. All right, ready or not, um, here I come. What camp uh, does <laughs> uh, this is for everybody but Colin? <laughs> what camp uh, do, uh, does the B1 battle droid send uh, Queen Amidala to in Phantom Menace? That is the scariest sounding place in Star Wars. Interrogation Camp A. Internment camp A. <laughs> Japanese internment camp. <laughs> Here's the thing. I wouldn't put it past George Lucas to be that blatant with his Yeah. <laughs> with his racism. Yeah. It's some kind of camp. Yeah, that's uh that's the question. Some kind of shitty, horrible summer camp that you'll hate your parents for. Uh, and it's there's Hello, I don't know why I keep thinking A. Hello, oh, Fada. I see Colin's video now. Here I am at Camp Granada. Sand Camp. <laughs> camp is very entertaining. Can you guys hear that helicopter? That's like right over my apartment. Uh, no, I cannot. Yeah, there's a helicopter right over my apartment. It's been there for like 10 minutes. <laughs> what are they watching? Take them to camp four. Damn. Uh, shout out to Colin for getting that one. Colin, do you have any, uh, what? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Uh, I can, I can hear, hear pizza. Nice. He's a noisy baby. I can hear everybody. I can hear Luke. Fuck yeah. Let me try and make this into... Jay, can you say something? Something. Beautiful. 
The symphony of voices. Do I sound like Watt Tambor? You sound no. like What do I sound like? I mean, do you, you sound, like, Teddy sound Pride. like it? Oh, I don't sound, sound like, like I don't have the effect on? Mm -mm. Oh, weird. No. I should. You doing clownfish? Yeah. You don't. Yeah, you gotta double click it, make sure it says turned on in that like list that comes up, and then you gotta activate the effect changer. Turned on, effect mixer is lighted, is lit, and clear effect. What about now? Mm mm. Nope. Damn. You got to update. Whoa, uh, pizza. If anybody here is on uh, pizza, shut the fuck up. Oh, <laughs> Go on. Uh, he does this to me at 6 a.m. Oh, <laughs> Pizza, what's wrong, little baby? Anyway, if you go on Reddit, you go on the Star Wars memes. It's a really funny meme. Oh, I'll check it out. Are you about to dox your Reddit username? Check it out. It's pretty funny. You think I could print um, off a copy of it? Yeah, I'm actually going through my comments. I think I'm playing. You know, I got I got to the front page of the Star Wars subreddit once. Wow. How did you do that? Um, through ways. Well, he's going to ride this train the rest of his life. How? I'm I'm actually curious. Wait, on the Star Wars subreddit? I don't see anything on the Star Wars subreddit sorted by new. It's on the Star Wars memes subreddit. If you were an actual fan, you would know that memes aren't allowed on the Star Wars subreddit. There's a separate Star Wars uh. memes page. But since you're a fake Star Wars fan and you couldn't even name what camp the battle droids took Qui Gon Jinn and company to, by the way, it was Camp Four. And he didn't take Qui Gon Jinn. He took he uh, Padme Amidala. Dude, shut the fuck up! I don't care about Star Wars. Well, Damn, that's a good looking yeah. meme you posted. Just kidding. Somebody that. posted. That's a good looking. That's, yeah, that's right. That's well put together. Can you post a link in chat? Yeah. Uh, I actually might be able to. Hello, mother. I'm at four. Hold on. Okay, so who's having issues with their audio right now? Oh my god, my computer's so fucking slow. So somebody else is gonna have to do that. I'm I, having, I I'm not having issues with my audio anymore. I was just trying to figure out why there is a helicopter from my apartment, and then I just found out the Logan Theater is closing. So now I'm depressed. No, oh, oh. fuck. Well, I can hear everybody, so I can hear everybody also. Oh, well then why the fuck are we playing? Okay, okay. <laughs> So the the beautiful party that we have, uh, you guys finish a long rest and receive all of your benefits from which you would receive for a long rest. Thank you. Uh, you wake up in the morning and uh, you can head down. They have a free breakfast, so if you guys want to have a little breakfast and maybe chat and maybe figure out uh, who the fuck Quoth is and uh, why he's running around in Mandalorian armor. Um, or maybe like what what y'all are doing? I think that answer would be obvious. All right, I say we have a nice breakfast, but I don't want to go unless we can all agree on a place. Well, there's a free breakfast at the hotel at the at Macquarie Inn. I go to the Macquarie Inn. Yeah, but we've been spending. We've been spending so much time together, I think we should, like, indulge on, like, a nicer breakfast place. <laughs> Alright, I'm just playing. Let's go eat breakfast. Lieutenant Hyrak! Nice! 
Nice. Um, no more points of inspiration, though. <laughs> I was just trying to kill time. You you won plenty. <laughs> um, the uh, so you guys head you yeah. guys head over to the the breakfast place. It has some nice has a nice spread. Pretty much anything typical that you you would expect from a breakfast a space breakfast space bar. Um, you know nothing too fancy. Uh, and you all sit down for a meal. You guys chat about anything. What kind of eggs do people eat in space? People eat space eggs. eggs. Well, here on this yeah. planet, there are a lot of Minox, so it's a lot of Minox eggs. How big is a Minox egg? How edible is Pretty big. Apparently edible enough. It's enough to make an omelet with one egg. Big omelet. A regular omelet, but with one egg, yes. Mm. All right, I'm gonna get an omelet. <laughs> nice. And take a, a long rest. Riots and like low power mode well you guys you guys experienced some um near death experiences together um you got just met quoth um i don't know if you want to if you have any questions for right, him quoth, who the fuck are you or if you have questions for each other uh related to ginkgo biloba That's my understanding, Quoth, that you're uh, hunting people who wield what is commonly referred to as the Force. Uh, through a mouthful of eggs that I suddenly somehow have, despite me still wearing my helmet, I uh, respond. I hunt who I'm paid to hunt. Mm, these are good eggs. <laughs> you what? Start talking close. Who are you? I, I hunt who I'm paid to hunt. All right. So are you going to turn me in? No one's paying me to hunt you now, are they? I guess not. Not exactly a huge threat. I'm just a small space bunny. Whose pelt makes for a pretty penny on the black market. Who's that talking? <laughs> That's the echo of echo of uh, Gelvlik's voice in quotes. <laughs> the voice of space god. <laughs> Quoth stops chewing his eggs for a moment and considers and then resumes chewing his eggs. And you, Jabba the Bunch. Uh, what? Oh. Uh, it seems like How do you mean... know um, Deepak Balaba's daughter? Kinko Balaba. <laughs> She's an old friend. <laughs> we go way back to our. Um... How old? And how friendly? <laughs> she wasn't using it for sex, was she? Oh no. She wasn't. She was one of the few people who was not trying to do so. <laughs> Damn. Okay. In this whole freaking galaxy. This whole what? Freaking galaxy. What kind of fucked up alien is this? <laughs> Go way back, how? How way back? Mm, way back to my previous career. <laughs> I. You've given me no was, information. So. I 
I was not in too different a situation from our, our two friends uh, that we met at Gelblick's office. You had a prune face? <laughs> I did, but I moisturized. <laughs> I'm doing so much better. <laughs> I think there's a long delay in what I say and when it comes up on your guys' audio. I heard an echo on your end that sounded like five seconds late of my voice. Yeah. Hold on. Wow. Um... R10T, you uh, experienced a weird uh, glitch uh, when you were looking at the data pad, but didn't necessarily share all the information um, that you received. I don't believe you shared any of the information about Lerd Ekpo related to your project and the uh, sentient droid that he apparently is running around with. Do you care to share any of that information now? Or not. Oh. Dude. <laughs> right, you look like you're hiding some in information. Um. <laughs> uh, Please. Where, where is... Hello. I, d I thought I wrote it down in my notes. Where the heck's my notes? What the heck? Oh, I didn't. I, I didn't save my notes. Uh, shout out to Rebellion RPG for tuning into the stream. They have their own Star Wars RPG they're doing right now, uh, Age of Rebellion. And they're wow. tuning into the stream. Thanks for tuning in. Oh my god, I hope you didn't have to watch all of our sound <laughs> issues. <laughs> We're working through it. Uh, this is. <laughs> Uh, well, Riot figures out his notes. This is an RPG set on the planet of Terrace uh, in between episodes three and four, uh, dealing with uh, several crime organizations uh, kind of vying for power um, on, the, on the planet of Terrace. And currently we have a B1 battle droid, Job of the Butt. We have a classic mercenary, Quoth. Hello. Uh, evil Mandalorian. Well, maybe not evil, yeah. No, so who knows? I mean, he's wearing red armor. So. He's wearing red armor. So, and it's then we have a. We're not even a Mandalorian. And then we have a, a tiny little space bunny Kushiban named Brillig. <laughs> um, Can I? Uh, what's happening right now? We're interrogating each other over breakfast. Okay, but I didn't want to interrupt somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember everything that I saw in my vision because okay, my so, notes were deleted. Sure. So what you saw in your vision was uh, a B1 battle droid jumping at you and you shooting at it. Mm hmm Okay. And I saw this when I looked at Gelblik's data pad? Yeah. So Gelblik's data pad included information on Lord Ekpo, and you saw that Ekpo was on a uh on the program that was designing droids such as yourself and that he was picked up by the geb syndicate when uh word got out that he was running around with the sentient b1 battle droid that information was on the data pad and then my vision was of the battle droid leaping at me a battle droid leaping at you and you shooting it a battle droid okay oh my god quoth is spreading Infection. It's getting. It's getting worse. Infection. <laughs> Which poisons our love? Um. <laughs> has also denied me the joys of the joys of the flesh. What is Shut up. Is We're singing a song. It's fine. <laughs> what song is this? Uh, it's Family the Opera. Uh, uh, the point is, riot. Uh, Anson 
inqu- inquired about you hiding something. Uh, um, I respond with, um, I don't know how much you've actually shared about your background to these, to these band of miscreants. No, I have not. Are we about um, to get vulnerable? <laughs> uh, no firewall, right? I have recently been burdened with feelings, and I wish to share them with the rest of my unit. Um. Okay. Hmm. We're here for you. Thank you. As some of you may know, I am a strange droid. And I think Lurt Ekpo uh, may be of a lot of interest to me. I think he knows a lot about droids. And uh, I think... Well, I'm just, uh, I suppose I'm just worried about what we're all, what we're going to be doing when we find Lord Ekpo. I have my reasons. I'm not entirely sure what everyone else's are. I too am worried about what we're going to do when we find Lord Ekpo. So, Lord Ekpo is from the Gev. I'm going to drain him of a sweet, sweet what? He's from the, the Gev Syndicate originally. And he wants to go back. I mean, he wants to be released. So, um, okay. I am so sorry if I F this up again. Um, hang on. So, if we bring him back to Galvlick, He's going back to his home turf, right? So... He crossed Galvlekt. He didn't return the spice. So, Mm. yeah, the spices disappeared. You know. Okay. So... Okay. Hang on, I need to read this communication okay. from the data pad again. Yeah, and then there's a communication from the data pad. Where is that? Okay. So, way back in the first session, Anson Dustis on the Galifon inspected some crates on the Galifon that were found to be Spice. Mm-hmm. The spice must flow. Right. Now, uh, what you discovered as well on the Galifon is that originally the route was set for Terrace, but it was rerouted to go to Nez Perrin, which was your next right. uh, stop. Um... And what you had found out on the Bendu Shadow was that Lord Ekpo had programmed a droid to kill everyone on board and reroute to Nez Perrin. But uh, there, uh, because of the the rebel interference. And your interference, everything kind of crashed into each other above Terrace. And then crashed into Terrace. So now, Bendu Shadow, Galifon, and the spices above aboard the Galifon are crashed into the port on Terrace. Mm. However, nobody really knows that that is what is there. Uh, and 
Lert Ekbo was kidnapped by the Black Sun because their spices never showed up. Right. <sighs> What's not to get? If you read the lore, it's whatever. All right. Sorry so we're just trying to. Scary. I'm just trying to predict what's going to happen to, um, yeah, to Lert Ekbo if he's returned to Galflake. The point is, Lert Ekbo uh, prevented a deal from going through with the Black Sun, so they kidnapped him. And you guys know where the product is that he was trying to get to somewhere else. Right. We don't know where it is now. Well, or do we? Oh, it's on the Bendu Shadow, right? On the Galifon on Bendu Shadow. The Bendu Shadow and the Galifon are two different ships. Yes. The Galifon was a ship you guys. I'm were not on. saying that's new information. And you guys boarded <laughs> the Bendu Shadow. That's not new information, but if it was, that would be really interesting. <laughs> if I had just learned that for the first time. <laughs> it's been a mi it's been several months since been months we interacted months. with the Bendu Shadow and Galifon. <laughs> so <laughs> given that information, if Colin say didn't know that, I think he would be interested. <laughs> Um, yeah, that I mean that's of course you know a, a man you know with less knowledge than myself. Correct. It's all conjecture. <laughs> so, essentially, it's all big nothing really. Let me break it down for you guys of what options you have. Break it down. So you can. Go to the port, try and get the spices, and use those to make a legitimate trade for Lord Ekbo. Mm -hmm. Or you can infiltrate the Church of the Imperial Reign, find out about where the Black Sun might be holding Lord Ekbo, and infiltrate the Black Sun's hideout. Or we could split up and do both. Yeah. Everyone dies. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the, the church is the... Outcome. You can try and legitimately make the deal or you can try and go around and steal him before the deal happens. Or you can come up with your own third option that I hadn't considered giving you and um, and do whatever that's up to you it's your game your world I don't necessarily trust that they're going to have Lord Ekbo at the legitimate trade um, or that we're going to have all the spices that are needed So you, you're with the infiltrate the church camp. That does kind of scare me though, because they said it's crawling with stormtroopers. Is that what this thing, this image is here? Did <laughs> we? Uh... Wait, Wait quote, <laughs> Jake. Did you put yourself all over the fucking track? <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking my soft race. Filthy. <laughs> like I was back in the ground facing up on the track. Like he's just sliding backwards. <laughs> Quote. Quote. If we want to save the uh, the other brillings, though, we need we need to bring uh, this guy in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
Either way, we need to get Lord Ekbo. Yeah, I don't care what happens. All right, call the Raven. Um, I'm a person. Never. And my name is Quo. Never mind. <laughs> What's the deal with this guy? <laughs> the Red Mandalorian. Oh, you're asking me this in character. Ooh. What's the deal with... Uh, yeah, sure. My character and I... But I say it in a Jerry Seinfeld voice. Mm. <laughs> What's, What's the deal? The, deal? the Red Mandalorian. Uh, the deal is we both work together and we get what we want. Was that not clear? What I want. I... Uh, No man can give me. And you could be working for the Empire. Or I could be working for the Empire. Or uh, you, you could see, be Count Dooku. When you say you could be working for the Empire, uh, behind you, but nobody sees, uh, Pruneface picks, like, pops up outside the window and, <laughs> and pops back down. <laughs> well, the only person I'm employed oh, to Pruneface. currently right now is... Grell Vic, technically, as we all are. It's actually Del Vic. That is if we want to. All right. Successfully Riot complete and the transaction for your friends. You guys hold him down when I'm What? Oh, I don't think you can do that. What are you gonna do? We're gonna take his <laughs> mask off. No, you're not. Says, says quote. Uh, that'll be a strength check against each other. Oh gosh, you guys! Come on. I mean, it'll be a stab check for kidding. me. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> well, he goes to take your, your helmet off, and you try and stop him. I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop him. Okay, so strength check against each other. Yeah, just Hold on, on I gotta figure out where my character sheet is. Hello? Fight, 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 fight. Natural 20? Oh boy. Oh, damn. Oh, am I disadvantaged? Keep your head on. Wow. Oh, Jesus, you rolled a 20 and a 1. That's crazy. Hold, Hold right. on, my character sheet is Wow. 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 Well, what's your strength modifier? Luke says I will roll for you. Because if it's two or below, then there's no way you could beat it. Yeah, he can't beat it. <laughs> You're unable to. Uh... All right, in 40 minutes, when I love Johnson it. breaks his arms while trying to lift the helmet. It's yeah, really you're hard. unable to to take his helmet off. Quoth, he just tried to take your helmet off. You gonna take that line down? All right, I'm going for the penis now. Going for the what now? I think he said penis. I'm going for the pants. <laughs> Oh, pants. Pants! Same thing. I don't pants. know if I... I don't think that's... Oh, oh, it was funny when oh, you went for the take, now it's You try to take your helmet off. What are you going to do? What are you going to say? Um... I draw my blade and tell him to back off or he will be sued for sexual harassment. I draw. Uh, right, I oh, really, your teammates are. I draw my blessed. Party mates are drawing weapons on each other. Y'all! Yeah. <laughs> Riot's head begins slowly turning into backpack form, and I start slowly folding. You know what? Fine. <laughs> Fine. 
This is the time I'm going to bust this out. It's what called it? Gravel Cower and Bag. <laughs> I love it. Basically, I'm just going to have a cute, sad meltdown. And normally it would be a distraction against enemies, but I'm hoping that our DM will just let it be distracting <laughs> for you two to stop bothering each other. <laughs> I'm going to do the thing where I'm trying to talk, but I'm crying so hard that I can't. Parker's <laughs> <laughs> confused at what is happening. I uh, realize that this is... <laughs> I realize that this is bigger than us, and I put away my blaster and set aside my differences. I stand there confused looking at Brillig as I like slowly sheath my sword, no noticing that the blast Did you just away. make that? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well done. But I've been <laughs> thinking about that the whole ever since I first saw that. That's all I've been thinking about. That's amazing. Basically, that's what happened. Okay. So hey guys. you uh you guys sheath your weapons. When's it over in forty minutes? Um. Now, uh, where do you guys head in the city of Mycross? You have. Wait. What's that? I have one more thing. What's up? <laughs> okay, I wanted to ask. I wanted to pull aside Riot for Mo. And I have this little tiny disc that um that ginkgo biloba gave me and i want to know if riot uh knows how to like read it uh do i teddy uh roll technology oh baby oh yeah it's a recorded message uh, and uh, you're able to unlock it. Shit! Well, I unlock it and I uh, hand it back to her without reading it or listening to it. Amazing. Thank you. You should now be able to Can interface I... with this recording device. Thank you. Can I listen to it? Do you have, do you know? I know you know what it says. <laughs> 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 what, you think I'm making this up as I go along? No. <laughs> I know I this is what you do during the work day. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> the scene. <laughs> we don't know who's watching. <laughs> you think that revolution, whoever, whoever is, Too Jennifer Q. Shore. <laughs> All right. Point is. Take up ass on. <laughs> point is, uh, Brillig, you're watching this secretly. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna take it into the ladies' room. <laughs> okay. Whoa. The the little bunny's room. <laughs> uh. Um. Uh, I will. Message you what it is. Oh, cool. Secrets. Secrets, secrets are no fun unless you share with everyone in the party. I guess Quoth and uh, uh, Java are just uh, eating their eggs right. off of the. If you're in bed. Uh, you broke up. No. Oh, you're going on my back. Yeah, you were you were phasing in and out. I didn't understand what you said, Colin. Oh, he froze. Oh no. Can any can everyone else Is hear him? Stage fright. I can't hear Colin anymore. Time. Colin, come back. 
on me. Well, for you, for you, Teddy, I think you just need to speak louder. But <laughs> uh, on, Pesho. What? Get your ass back on, on my bed, Tony. <laughs> Call him Casio. Is it Casio, Casio, or Casio? Or Casio? I think it's Casio. Right. <laughs> Casquillo? He's a Casio on a plastic beach. He's a Casio on a plastic beach. <laughs> Thanks for dancing, everyone. <laughs> That's what I think of literally every time I see him. <laughs> It's Casho. 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 Okay. Where are you guys heading? Um. Did you send it to me? I te I sent you a message on Instagram. On Instagram. Well, I think we're... You have my phone number. <laughs> yeah, that, it's just what popped up. Um, okay. Me? I have a time limit on Instagram. <laughs> It's fine. I can choose to ignore it. You have a time limit? <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, it's that's interesting. From the perspective of someone that can hear the reaction, but not the. <laughs> well, I think we should infiltrate the Church of the Mandalorians. Infiltrate what? The Church of the Imperials. Yeah, I think that's going to be our uh, safest bet. I think I'm that would be option. our safest wager. The Imperial <laughs> Church. For some reason, I read that as Church of the Central Isotoper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Church of the Central Isoptor you guys have not interacted with yet. We have not. Mm. But I don't know why we would go there. I'm a big believer in the Isoptor. Question mark. Nah. I thought you were about to say I'm a big boy. Whoa. You are. You're grown. You're grown as man. You know, you're right. You can, you can go to whatever church you want. That's true. No, Riot's, Riot is in support of... Um... I believe our best option will be to go to the church. Uh, get some information on the Black Sun. And break out Lur Lurdak Bo. No matter what, we need to speak with him. After that, don't care what happens to him. <laughs> but just, I need to speak to Murdoch Bo, and I will help with whatever else we need to do with him. Quoth will, will second that. <sighs> so, where are you going? To the church. Okay. Gonna, the, or well, or well the, I guess we should go talk to Pruneface to go get his bug and see if he has a plan on how to get to yeah. the church. The church of the Imperial yeah. something something. Rich Rain. Man. Church of the Imperial Rain. Um, okay, but you I'm know into that... it. Um, I think it's Fair to retcon that Pruneface told you that if you are interested to meet him at the Minoc. So you head to the Minoc and you see him he you see him down in some dark ass drinks. He says, Hey, so yeah. you're gonna take my offer then huh? I'll tell you what, here here's what I can offer. 
It's not exactly ideal, but I do have four Imperial officer uniforms. Unfortunately, I don't think they'll exactly fit all of you. And one of you is a bunny, one of you is a droid, and another is a Mandalorian. So, unless the Mando's comfortable with taking his helmet off, they're going to have to go the more stealthy route. You mean you don't have an imperial uh, body-sized cool, imperial uniform? So if you want to go in and uh, and wear these uniforms, um, I mean they're not they're not imperial officer uniforms. They're uh, imperial reign follower uniforms. It's basically like altar boy robes. Oh, I could wear altar boy robes. Right, you could. It'll just drape on the ground behind you. I'll hike them up. It's fine. <laughs> uh, okay. You know my people are great weavers. I could just, like, do a, an alteration or two. Uh, yeah, you can, you can do that. Um, what would that be exactly? My people are great weavers. Just rips the bottom of the dress. Someone I can't. Do I it. think it would be um, maybe it. It might have to be like sleight of hand. Yeah, sleight of hand <laughs> is the only one I could I could really think would be. Um, but, but. Okay, I before I saw that I was gonna say I was gonna give you advantage because of your species. So I'm gonna we're give the you best. advantage in this case of weaving. Wow. So you are able to 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 uh, alter the robe to fit you, uh, mm -hmm. and it almost looks like that's the way it was supposed to look. Very impressive. Thank you, you guys. What if, what, what if, just, just throwing it out here to be, um, you know, spitball it, <laughs> but, um, what would you think if we, while wearing our, our Imperial altar boy outfits, took another stab at Gelvelik's office and stuff. Maybe we could figure out which one of those paintings was the one we want. Did you roll persuasion at us? <laughs> this motherfucker just rolled persuasion at us? <laughs> no, it was my, my hand slipped. <laughs> well, I'll be right back. One sec. The helicopter's Maybe. gone, everyone, but... They got all the surveillance they needed. I guess so. I, um... I heard that, uh... Yeah, my my friend just texted me, and she said that there were some protests. There was, like, one on the south side, one downtown, and one on the north side, and I'm wondering if the north side one is mine. I'm actually, like, on the west side but i'm not like way west i'm like humble park west gotcha yeah i figured it was probably like if it's staying there it was like either a news or a police helicopter yeah but like i live right by humble park the park and it was like right over my house it wasn't over humble park weird <laughs> weird so i'm guessing it was probably connected to the ruling um, the the BS ruling about how they let the cop off to Breonna Taylor. Yeah. Mm. Did you guys make a decision? Um. No, we're also, talking about related things. <laughs> well, he's down to investigate the painting further, as long as he's in for a cut of the. 
Hold on, you, I'm sorry, I had, I had to cut you off for a sec. Um, so, of the options, Church of the Central Isopter, Mandalorian Temple, Church of the Imperial Reign, Zerka Headquarters, the Soup Races, and Endurgo's Port. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I should have added as well Conte City. You can just head straight there. Um, Um, Conte City, so like the distance from the port to, um, Micross in the opposite direction is Conte City, but a little mm -hmm. further, farther. Um, but it's up to you. Up to you. Well, we probably want to stay in town if we're wanting to go to the church and investigate those paintings further. Mm -hmm. Let I would say let's we do can, uh, we church can, first. Uh, yeah, I'm do sorry. church first. Um, find out where we can grab this guy. Um, maybe take him back with us uh, and uh, exchange him for more credits. And while we're there, that's an ex convenient excuse to be in the building for those paintings also. Yeah. Cool. I'm into it. Let's do it. All right. Back to the races. Wait, the races are the Imperial Church of the Imperial Reign. I thought the it was church. in that building. Oh, the church and the races? No. Yeah, you said it was on the 19th floor or something. Yeah, uh, no, it's a, no. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When, when I said the floor, I was referring to the fact that the city itself is divided into 50 floors. Ah, uh, not of the building, but of the city. I apologize. Uh, but if you remember, uh, this in the um, city of, of my cross, I was referring to uh, sections 25 to 50, you'll find the, the poor working I was ripping to crime that's that's what i was referring to gotcha. so section 10 i believe i said um colin are you are you are you with us i can't tell i could be now now i can hear you okay my cool. whole thing crashed no damn nice well uh the group consensus is to head to the church church of the imperial reign Cool? I yeah. agree. Let's go! Okay. Cool. So you guys head to the Church of the Imperial Reign. It's on floor 10. Uh, it is quite <laughs> immaculate. However, as immaculate it is, as it is, it is uh, devoid of artistic input. Uh, very brutalist. Squares, cubes, rectangles, uh, making up every inch. Uh, very ordered. Um, and there were two stormtroopers standing outside. Um, but I'm assuming... I'm assuming you guys wore your... Uh, outfits. Yes. Yes. Um, as you walk in, they kind of give... Oh, indeed. Second glances to, to Riot and Brillig. Um wearing the uniform but kind of shrugging like not my fucking problem hmm. yes um, not your problem not yet and you head in and you see uh essentially you know when you would go to like uh career day at high school or in college and there'd be different booths yeah. You see booths with scout troopers, booths with shadow troopers, dark troopers, death troopers, flame troopers, jet troopers, storm troopers, sand troopers, snow troopers, all of them lined up. And uh, in the middle of them all are people in similar robes to you, kind of mingling and mangling about. Um, and then uh, at the front center of it, you see... 
uh, the same officer and stormtroopers that you had noticed from the track. Uh, you see Admiral um, Enner there. Um, he's the he's the Imperial officer from the track, surrounded by his his death troopers and stormtroopers. Uh, two death troopers, four stormtroopers, and um, they're kind of milling about. Uh, and there are some there are uh, kind of two doors behind him, one on each side, going to different areas. Uh, so we've just got to place the bug somewhere. You need to place yes, the bug um, in... You're instructed to place the bug in Admiral Enner's office. Oh, shit. Interesting. Right's got to hop off whenever it's natural. Okay. Actually, this is probably a good place to stop. This is, as yeah, I was going to say, this is probably a good place to here. stop. You guys are here. <laughs> you guys have reached the Church of the Imperial Reign. You have a plan to uh, use this information to uh, get a leg up. And you can either use this information to find Lord Ekbo and steal him back before the trade happens. Or you can use it to kind of get ahead of the trade and know what's happening at the trade itself. It's up to you. Um... But either way, depends on your success in this mission given to you by the infamous rebel, Pruneface. Uh, are we all good for next week, 7.30? Next Wednesday? That'll be... What day is that? It is... September 30th. Oh. The 30th. My God. I am. I'm good. Yep. <sighs> cool, cool. All right. Well, uh, you guys have uh, went from wanting to kill Galvlik to making a deal with him and went from uh, not sure where Lord Ekbo is to knowing exactly where he is and how you can get him. But what are you going to do to do that? We'll find out no, no. next time on <laughs> streams and stars. <laughs> <laughs>